When it comes to photography, one could argue that Japanese camera manufacturers have single-handedly supplied the world of professionals and enthusiasts. Naturally, there were some brands that stood the test of time and are household names, even now after all these years, and some brands that didn't make it. In today's video, we'll be looking at a pretty good rangefinder camera during its time from a company that unfortunately had to shut their doors. I mentioned in one of my earlier videos that a family member gifted me a bunch of 35mm film cameras and one of those was this rangefinder camera made by the company originally called the Kuribayashi camera and then called Petri. They made some excellent rangefinders and they got into the game of SLRs quite early as well. But from what I can gather, Petri usually made safe decisions when it came to their products and so they weren't front runners necessarily when it came to new features like autofocusing, metering abilities and electronic contacts. And they also couldn't compete with mass production from some brands so they had to file for bankruptcy in 1977. Uh, this particular model, Petri 2.8, was introduced in 1958 and this camera was bought the same year it was introduced, so it's been in the family for over 60 years now. In terms of specs, it's got a 45 millimeter lens with a leaf shutter fixed to the camera and the f-stops range from f2.8 to f22 and the shutter speeds range from bulb to 300th of a second. There's also flash synchronization at the speed of 50th of a second. There's no light meter in this camera but it's got a cool little info sheet up at the top that tells you potential uh, f-stop and shutter speed combos uh, to shoot with for different lighting conditions. And this one because of its age has pretty sticky focusing ring and film winder which was a pain sometimes to use in the field. mostly shot the roll on sunny 16. It was a bright day with clear skies so I should have been doing f16 at 300th of a second but to give some room for the shadows I shot at f11 at 300th of a second. And this is my first roll through this camera and my first time shooting with a rangefinder that has sort of patch focus. So there is a rectangle inside the viewfinder which is your focusing area and when your image is not in focus it'll be, you know, you'll see double in that rectangle. And when you rotate the focusing ring as soon as the image is in focus you will stop seeing double like it looks like two images are merging together to form one image inside that rectangle. So yeah, if you're seeing double in the rectangle, things are not in focus. When you don't see double, it's in focus. I couldn't finish the roll there, so I ended up shooting a dozen shots in London. It was classic London weather, cloudy with a chance of anything could happen. So most of the shots were at f6 
I'm sorry, f5.6 or f4 at 300 of a second. And I also brought a light meter with me for tricky situations, which I ended up using for a couple of shots. But anyway, this was never intended to be a review. I just wanted to put a roll through something that's been in the family for a long time and see what it could do. Um, quick thoughts though, the viewfinder is extremely small and cumbersome. Some of it is probably due to its age. The patches are not always clear, especially when you're shooting in bright conditions. And I wear glasses, which makes sort of focusing and framing trickier than otherwise. So the operation needs a bit of getting used to for me. But then again, I feel like it would work better for shooters that use zone focusing and not rely on moving the focusing ring often or, you know, to check critical focus. But yeah, I enjoy shooting with it for the most part. I don't think I'll pay to get the sticky focusing ring and the winder fixed because the cheapest quote I got was hundred pounds, which is quite a bit more than what this camera is selling for these days. But either way, like I'm not going to sell this camera, you know, and it works fine. Otherwise, um, you know, it's like I said, it's been in the family for a long, long time. So I'm going to keep it. Maybe it'll be one of those cameras that I own as a backups backup or for special occasions, maybe. But yeah, that's been it. Thank you so much for watching and giving me your time. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.